I definitely credit our success to our training so far this season. Uh, a lot of us have been working very hard. I think this is the hardest we've worked over my time uh, here at Marist. So, especially in our trip to Orlando, it was our peak training so far this year, and I expect uh, us to have a very good performance for the rest of the season. There's a big gap of three weeks uh, that they're not able to do either a lot of training or make the same commitment that they were doing prior to. We do lose a lot of aerobic base because of it, and that's why the training trip is so important. I think we're in great position. I told, I've told the men on a couple of different occasions this will be the first time, legitimately the first time in 10 years, that they have a, an opportunity to win another conference championship. This will be the first time that we've ever had a back-to-back -back meet. So since it's intercession, our kids are coming off doing a lot of training. So I'm not really varying the number of dives they're doing. I'm just going to get them ready by putting them up in a meet situation, like two days before the meet, one day before the meet, then the meet. And then we're going to come back here. And since Boston College is in our home facility, I think it'll be a lot easier for us to go back to back. On the diving side, I think we're pretty prepared. We've been training since the beginning to do our dives, dive for dive, and really get in the competition mindset. We always want to focus on doing one thing at a time and then throwing that thing out and getting it to the next. And I think divers have really done a good job with that. It'll be interesting to see how well we recover because our trip on Thursday is a long trip. And then on top of that, we'll have to endure another three hour competition. So it'll be a long day on Thursday, and we'll see how we recover on Friday.